welcome to year three. three. So these are the members of staff that we've got in our year group. There's me, Miss Graham. Uh, we've got Mrs. Ellie. She's hiding. Uh, Miss Ellis, Mrs. Longworth, uh, Miss Wakerley, Mrs. Adela, and Mrs. Ike. Uh, they are our amazing teaching assistants who support us in class um, and support us with the needs of our children. So this is an example of what our classrooms look like now. We have uh, introduced a very calm, neutral environment where we can highlight and showcase children's work and we're really looking forward to teaching in our new neutral classrooms. Our PE days for this term we've got PE on Thursday morning in the hall um, that will probably change maybe in spring or summer um, and we've got Friday afternoon as well that will be outside so your children will need to come in their PE kits on Thursdays and Fridays. Um, PE kits, the expectations for PE kits are black, um, black trousers, black shorts, um, a white shirt and then a black zip up hoodie um, trainers please, black or white trainers. Please make sure, even though we're not getting our children changed in the classrooms anymore, please make sure that you've still got your child's name uh, labelled up in everything that they're, everything that they're wearing. Okay, so the next two slides are the curriculum overview. Um, we don't do history and geography in the first term, but we spend time um, making sure that we cover everything else. So we'll be teaching science, rocks and soils, and then going to be in forces, uh, DTs, levers, and we've also got computing as well. Online safety is really important. So I'm just going through the autumn one, and uh, in PE we'll be doing dance and football. In music, we have got Mrs. Brannigan, who is our music expert. She will be teaching them about ballads. Uh, PSHE will learn about mental health and well-being. In French, we are going to be recapping um, greetings and expressing feelings. And in RE, it's all about the creation story. So throughout the year, uh, we will have various trips and um, visitors into school. So some of the trips that we go on, we go to Tatton Park. The children absolutely love it. They learn about the Stone Age, and uh, that's part of our history curriculum. We have a PE Wow where we go to Howbridge and the children get to learn some fantastic rock climbing skills and scootering. They really enjoy it. And we also have a trip to the museum and that links to our history curriculum and they get to see the Egyptian mummies and like learn about Bolton and they get to visit the library too. So uh, really nice experiences for them. So our reading expectations, you'll definitely know them by now, um, we expect every child to be reading at least three times a week at home uh, for about 20 minutes. Now we always say that reading is the most important thing that a child can be doing, that's the most important thing you can encourage your child to do at home. It supports them uh, with their writing. Um, it supports them with their confidence as well, um, because as they're coming up to Key Stage 2, um, lots of our lessons require uh, much more writing um, and reading, so that is crucial um, to your child's education. So as much reading at home would be fantastic. The homework expectation, a little bit different now we're in Key Stage 2, but we still expect reading, as was mentioned uh, by Miss Graham. So 20 minutes, at least three times a week. If you want to do more than that, please feel free to. Um, we um, put spellings on spelling shed, uh, 30 minutes recommended time. I mean, if they want to do more, you know, in shorter time um, sections, that's absolutely fine. Um, and TT rock stars as well. They think they're playing games, but, you know, it's great learning for them. We do either maths or English once per week. So one week we'll do alternate weeks. So one week we might give out a maths homework, next week we'll give out English. 
And every week we also give a chance for children to practice their spellings on a, you know, uh, on, a, on a sheet as well as the spelling tray. Um, they don't need to bring in the spelling sheet, that's just for them to practice at home. If they do bring in their maths or English work, we will give them five points. We will try, we will try and encourage them to get, you know, involved in learning at home. Um, and it's great, you know, if we can get engagement as well. So we also want to direct you towards our website. You can find absolutely everything on here. More information about uh, your child's class and what they're going to learn and like when we showed you the curriculum layers. Um, if you want to have a look and double check what staff that your children will be working with, information on policies, on trips, on news, um, it's a really great um, website so have a look at that. So attendance again is uh, a really big focus at Devonshire Road School. Um, it's vital that they come on time and that they come, uh, you know, every day. As it's so much mislearning if they are um, arriving late. So we really would like to make sure that children are coming in as often as they can. Um, if they're a little bit unwell, um, you know, we do have medication that we can administer in school. You just need to sign it in or you can, they can bring, you know, medication in. Um, and it's really important that they start on time because um, it means that they have a nice calm environment that they're coming into. There's somebody to greet them at the door. We get to have a little chat with their friends. So if you can encourage them to get here on time, that would be amazing. Um, the doors open at 8.45 and um, they have, um, sorry, uh, uh, the register closes at 9 o'clock. We do have a breakfast club, so if you need support um, dropping off early, that is available too. And just come and have a chat to us or one of our lovely teaching assistants. Yeah, it's so important being on time um, because we start our learning from quarter to nine. The children always have a learning task um, that starts at quarter to nine. So a bit more about um, uniform. We covered PE kits. Uh, this is on uniform at Devonshire Road. Um, so white polo shirt for everyone. Um, grey skirt, grey trousers or a grey pinafore and I know when we get to the summer months um, lots of our children like to wear the um, blue summer dress um, please make sure that your child's footwear is black so black sensible shoes and then of course our jumpers or cardigans they are all blue it doesn't have to have the logo on um, just a blue cardigan or a blue jumper is fantastic um, we we really promote children looking nice and smart and always having their shirts tucked in as well. And I'll remind you again, all their clothes, everything that they put on, it all needs to be labelled up. Um, because when those cardigans or jumpers come off, they definitely need their names in. So jewellery is permitted as part of our uniform policy, but it has to be simple and not impact the health and safety of pupils at school. So some examples of what is permitted are small stud earrings, um, just normal traditional watches and um, any adornment used for religious purposes. Smart watches are not permitted, especially if they um, have the capacity to take photos or receive and send messages and play games um, or if it's got calculators you know, within it as well. Um, if it's just a step tracker, that is fine. If you have any queries about it, please contact our senior leadership members. And if um, anything's really expensive, again, we encourage you just to, you know, use it for home and not bring it into school. Uh, so finally, um, reading volunteers. We will accept and welcome anyone that wants to offer up some of their time um, to help our children with their reading um, it's a fantastic opportunity well for yourself and for the children to develop their reading skills um, and it can also be used um, for you as experience and um, so if you wish to volunteer and help out with some readers um, please contact the office and they will um, get you in touch with the right staff member 
Um, the more volunteers, the better. As we said before, reading is the most important thing uh, that our child can be doing. So uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for watching. Yes. See you soon.